this year on November 18th, it was a sunny Sunday morning. I went out to feed my feral cats when I spotted one of my feral friends killed, so warm, and taking his last breaths. People have no regard for animals. Accidents happen, so you'd think one at least would stop and see if it was still alive so that it wouldn't suffer. It had taken me four months to gain the trust of this beautiful young cat I referred to as Wild Thing, and only moments for someone to kill him. I'm not sure if it was the fresh cat info I was growing on the porch or he simply was looking for food. I appreciated the friendship I built with this cat and someone just discarded him like trash. This is how the society has come to regard animals, especially feral or displaced cats. I want to bring to light the value of these animals. Today I hope to show you in my argument why feral and discarded cats have a place in our society and what it needs to be done to achieve this. There are estimated 15.5 million maybe more stray or feral cats in America. And how do they become displaced? This is why we must educate ourselves and others on how to help with the situation of these cats and finally providing appropriate funding for them. You may not be a cat person, but that does not mean we do not have an obligation to take care of animals we domesticated and bred. Then we decide no, we no longer choose to keep or support them. Some believe they can survive on their own. I will show you this is not true. According to the Humane Society, 86 million cats live in households and another 40 to 55 million are feral cats, referred to as community cats. Why do we end up with nearly 50 million cats that have no home? One of the number one reasons is cats get lost. 40% of the lost cats <clears throat> were identified as indoor cats. Once the cat gets outside, they explore, hide, or run for their lives. The lucky lost pets are picked up by animal control or others and have or they end up having to live on their own we know that when house cats get loose or just allowed out during day hours or night hours if not neutered or spayed will breed a breeding pair of cats over a seven year span can create over 400,000 kittens there it creates a huge problem people think having a litter of kittens will be fun or passing on their cats genes but really it it, it doesn't it just contributes to the problem. There is plenty of kittens for everyone. What if it, something happens to an owner such as a death or health issues? Many don't plan for their pets and wills or make arrangements with friends or family members. In recent years, economy reasons have made a major role in pet relinquishments. On average, it costs $600 to $800 for a healthy cat a year. According to animal control, people will just leave pets when moving thinking they can fend for themselves and will get back to their feral and sticks when released onto the street. Sadly, this is not true. Many people simply <clears throat> lose the human pet bond with the cat. They have medical or behavioral issues. Whenever the bond is broken, cats are at risk for streets or outdoor living. The best part is when educating ourselves and others, the problem can have drastic changes for the better. The biggest thing people can do for community and feral cats is learn how about local trap and neuter programs in their community. This is where colonies of cats are trapped, vaccinated and sterilized by veterinarian. Community cats typically contribute to about 80% of the kittens born each year and are a most significant source of cat overpopulation. The program helps reproduction with it helps with long-term management, keeps community cats vaccinated against disease such as rabies and feline leukemia. Educating people on microchipping the family cat according to Ohio State University research news showed that shelters were able to locate owners for 72.7% of stray pets who were microchipped. Keeping your microchip information up to date is also key. Louisville Metro service ch charges only $25 for this service. Along with microchipping, a collar with a plate that states address, phone number, and other pertinent information will also help to ensure your pet comes home. Cat indoor campaign information should be given to People who are adopting pets and breeders should also educate new owners on this program. Keep your cat simply in the house. Also spay our New Year companion and animal and encourage others to do the same. Spaying and neutering keeps populations down but also helps your friends with other health issues by having procedures done such as cancer. The reason many of the feral cats and lost cats don't get appropriate funding is when they cut funding for people you can account on cats getting any other than private funding or donations. With further funding for cat programs in the long run, we will actually lower costs needed in the future. 
If we give in organizations like Alley Cat Advocates proper funding, we could make a serious improvement in the problem of community cats. They run an excellent TNR program. I personally used them this summer and had two community cats neutered. The organization does a quick fix, 130 spay neuter appointments each week. The number for them is 502-634-8777 and the website is www.alleycatadvocates.org. For any commun community cat questions, this group has vast knowledge on those cats and how to help them. During the 2017 legislation session, resolutions were introduced to the House and Senate in which would establish a shelter oversight and pet population task force. It would have been charged with reviewing existing problems at shelters. The resolution died in the committee and nothing has been planned for 2018, which is not acceptable. Newt's founder of the Bluegrass Animal Welfare Advocacy Group, she has a Facebook page called Fiona's Legacy, a shelter reform effort for shelter animals. Visit her Facebook page for more information. Some states have gone to taxing manufacturers of pet food and livestock food. They already pay an annual state registration fee to distribute the products of Kentucky. If states don't want to put star charges on the things, maybe a lot of money or a scratch off for the community cats could be allotted to animal programs, something has to be done. So let me go over why it's better to fix problems than let it keep escalating until the answer will not sit well with Kentuckians who out of the 50 states rank seventh with households that have pets, cats. I hope today the information I have provided you shows you how so many cats become lost and end up in community as community cats. I truly believe with education and proper funding, this program could be drastically diminished or problem could be drastically diminished or eliminated. Now that you understand the problem of cats, we must have compassion and do the right thing for these animals. We domesticated as our companions. I will continue to befriend our feral and lost cats like Wild Thing because he was capable of experiencing a wide array of emotions ranging from joy and pleasure to grief, sadness, misery, and show have never been lost to begin with, but cherished for the fuzzy, purring, playful Wild Thing he was. He will be missed.